This is the second time this mountainous district of Duda has lost big numbers of people to the catastrophe of landslides. But a much bigger disaster is likely to happen if the people of this sub-region do not heed to government call of relocation. Minister Stephen Malinga told MPs in his statement this evening that more than 400,000 people are living at the risk of landslides. The whole of Elegon, if you are talking, Sebei and all Bududa, Central Bugisu, North Bugisu, the crack runs through the whole of Elegon. So all those people are vulnerable. We are encouraging the people all over Mount Elegon who are vulnerable, that some of them who can afford should buy land somewhere else. And those who can afford, government is planning to buy land for them and relocate them to other parts of the country. Though he outlined a plan of resettling these people in a period of 10 years, the lawmakers from Bugis sub-region remain unsatisfied. We must have an early warning mechanism, a system that people can be able to detect disaster. Studies have been undertaken and the minister has appointed some of them, but there's no element of showing by government that they're able to use those studies to ensure that they put in place an early warning mechanism and therefore an early warning response. 100,000 people to be resettled up to 2020, that those are in Bugisu. Somewhere he says the whole country. Now, government should come up with a definite plan of helping people of Gisu. We have got land even in Vunamputie. There is land fund. They should get money, go and buy land in Vunamputie, where people of Bududa can go and settle down there, and they can go back in summer to go and look at their farms. But how can the government of Uganda leave land in national parks for animals when there is a shortage of land for human beings in the mountain Elegon region? There are many districts affected there. There are also people, communities with the land. In Last time we passed a resolution here that land was going to be acquired from uh, different parts of the country. I remember that very well, that government was going to acquire land, be it in Bulambuli, be it in, in Kiriandongo, be it in uh, Asembabule. What we care for is our people to be moved to a safer place. The minister also outlined the short-term measures of recovering bodies and providing humanitarian aid to over 220 survivors. At the moment, we have cholera in the area, so it is better for these people to live with their relatives. And uh, by today, all these 220 people have been allocated. You know, Bagisu have a clan system, and the clan system runs from the bottom of the mountain up to the top. So they are going to live with their relatives at the lower parts of the mountain and uh, they have been received. How would you help survivors to say, to stay with the relatives, moreover whose relatives are in the very dangerous area? That shows you that we are not either considering the matter more seriously or that we are taking it too lightly and therefore disaster will strike together with the survivors and those who are keeping them because even the carrying capacity may not be uh, effective and sufficient. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Parliament.